1948, yeah. challenges here at home in our economy, a crisis at our border. The American people want to see the Republican conference come together, elect a speaker and get back to work. Well, it's interesting to me to hear you say that, that, that Jim Jordan would be a great speaker, given he was someone who sent a text to the chief of staff on January 5th that outlined for you to violate the Constitution and block the certification of the election. I mean, do you really believe that's someone who should be third in line to the presidency? I, I have immense respect for Jim Jordan. He's a man of integrity, and uh, I've known him for many years. I, I, I was not aware of, uh, of his opinion going into January 6th. So my, that doesn't My you. interaction with Congressman Jordan in December was uh, simply over the legitimate objections that members of Congress were permitted to file uh, under the law. But look, we, we may have a difference of opinion about my duties under the Constitution that day, but I'm, I'm very confident uh, that if Jim Jordan becomes Speaker of the House, that he'll lead with integrity. And, uh, uh, and the most important thing is that the Congress come together, that Republicans come together and elect a Speaker, uh, because uh, as, as you've uh, reported on your airwaves, uh, we may well, as we sit here, uh, be just a few hours away from uh, uh, from when this war uh, initiated by Hamas with brutal assaults on men, women, and infant children uh, will, uh, will enter a whole new phase. And uh, it'll be mm -hmm. important throughout that time that America speaks with one voice, uh, that, uh, that our nation stands with Israel, that we will stand with Israel today, tomorrow, and through all the difficult days ahead. Yeah. Well, it's remarkable to hear you say that about Jim Jordan. But 